Ever wondered how parasites enter our body? These invisible invaders are more common than you might think and can find their way into our bodies in a myriad of ways, from the food we eat, the water we drink, to the soil we walk on. Parasites are always looking for a host, and it's not just about roundworms or tapeworms. There's a whole range of these unwelcome guests. So let's delve into the world of parasites and understand how they sneak into our bodies. Parasites have several crafty ways to enter our bodies. One of the most common ways is through contaminated food or water. Unwashed fruits, undercooked meat or water from unclean sources can carry worm eggs or larvae resulting in an infection. Another method is through soil transmission. Certain parasites like hookworms and some types of roundworms have larvae that can penetrate our skin. So simply walking barefoot on contaminated soil can lead to an infection. Poor hygiene is another significant contributor. If a person with a parasite infection doesn't wash their hands properly, they could contaminate food or surfaces with microscopic eggs, which others can unknowingly ingest. Lastly, close contact with infected animals is a potential route of transmission. This is typically more common in veterinary or agricultural settings, so these are the crafty ways parasites invade our bodies. Now that we know how these parasites enter our bodies, let's see who are more prone to these infections. Certain individuals are more susceptible to helminth infections. Children, particularly those in developing countries, are often most vulnerable. Their playful nature, combined with less developed hygiene habits, can expose them to these parasites. Then we have people living in or traveling to endemic areas. Tropical and subtropical regions with poor sanitation and access to clean water can be hotbeds for these infections. Similarly, communities with inadequate sanitation and hygiene practices are at a higher risk. If you love outdoor activities like camping, hiking or fishing, you might also be more exposed to sources of infection. Lastly, pet owners and animal handlers might have a higher risk, especially if they don't follow proper hygiene practices. So it's clear that anyone can be at risk, but don't worry, there are effective treatments available. When it comes to parasites, knowledge is power and so is treatment. There are several effective medications available to combat these unwelcome guests. Albendazole, for instance, is widely used against a variety of worms, including hookworms, roundworms, whipworms, and tapeworms. Mebendazole is another potent weapon, commonly used in treating roundworm, whipworm, hookworm, and pinworm infections. Ivermectin is primarily used for infections like river blindness, strongyloidiasis, and lymphatic filariasis, but it's also effective against scabies and lice. Praziquantel is specifically effective against schistosomiasis and some types of tapeworms. Lastly, Pirantil Pamuet is used to treat infections by roundworms and pinworms, and is often the preferred choice for pinworm infections. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Stay safe by practicing good hygiene, avoiding contaminated food and water, and taking necessary precautions when in contact with animals or soil.